If you like, please hit subscribe and tell all your friends about the Mad Rapper Show. Not ready. You calm the fuck down? This is my show, right? It's my show, though, right? You calm the fuck down? It's been a minute since I did this, nigga. Let me get situated on the camera. I'm having some anxiety issues right now. Thank you for tuning in to the Mad Rapper Show. I'm your host, the Mad Rapper. And on today's show, I'm going to be talking to you guys about why I ain't made no shows. So, it's been a couple of weeks and I haven't released any videos. Um, mainly because I've been trying to get my life in order. My life in order. Because that's the most important thing. A lot of times, you'll hear people on YouTube talk about it's hard to step away for a day or two or a week or two because you lose fan base. And that is right. That, that, that shit happens, it's real. But you can be so fucking drained from this shit that you need to chill out. So I decided to take you know, a week and a half, two weeks off from making videos, but I'm gonna be back at it. I, I got some good content. Um, it's, it's gonna be good. But what's more important than my issues is how you guys doing. I know everybody was riled up about the uh, the funk volume challenge and then, you know, battling horseshoe gang. Yeah, have you guys heard that? Like, who, who do you think won? Who do you guys really think won this contest? I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, to be honest, uh, Funk Volume killed them. Um, I was impressed. It took Funk Volume a while to release a video, like to release a diss track back to them. So at first I was like, damn, dude. And then I, I guess Dame had released a comment saying, oh, they ain't, they ain't nobody. We ain't gonna battle. And I was like, yeah, shut your ass up, dude. Hopefully hip hop will prevail. And even though they ain't shit, and they ain't got no likes, no followers, and, and they only got a thousand views on a video that they release on YouTube, maybe Funk Volume will come through and, and diss them fools back. And they did, and they they killed it. They killed it, man, it, it was dope. Um, damn, Horseshoe Gang released another diss track called Same Day, that same day. And I believe Funk Volume's uh, diss track was uh, Free Meal. Um, the, the Horseshoe Gang track was cool, but the second one, the first one was better, you know, than the second one for sure. Uh, it just seemed real rushed. It seemed like they wanted to say, hey, we battling y'all, we got y'all, we coming right back at you on the same day, and, and they sort of rushed it. Um, but overall, it was good for hip hop, you know? Uh, being competitive is part of hip hop, and it's important. And it seems like to me that it, once the majors, corporations, and it became business, it, it seems like a lot of that competition has fell off. Because back in the day, it was easier for us to get on radio. It was easier for us to get videos. I mean, no, I wouldn't say videos, but it was easy for us to get seen and um, battle. And if you don't like what somebody said, Oh, you can release a diss track and take it to the radio. Motherfucker, I know a fly didn't try to get in my motherfucking mouth. You can go take your diss track to the radio station and be like, man, I don't like that, that fucking song. I made a reply to that shit. And they play that shit. Nowadays, it's, it's all about money, so you can't do that shit. Um, if you have beef with another artist, it's not you calling them up and saying, hey, man, what's up, blah, blah, blah. I got this problem with you. It's more or less you telling somebody, hey, I'm about to diss this fool, and then some dude behind a desk being like, I don't think you should do that. And that's why hip hop is so different. Because you got the people that don't want you to cause a stir, and they tell you don't do that shit. When back in the day, hip hop was like competitive. So it's really not that competitive. It's more competitive uh, right now as far as like album sales and shit, you know, selling out shows, stuff like that. But um, you guys are wonderful. I love all of you guys, and I, I'm sorry it took me so long to make another video. Uh, you know, it happens, you gotta take breaks, man. You gotta take breaks. 
Because I mean, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. Let me get a little closer. Let me let me get a little closer. The motherfucking comments be kicking my ass. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucking comments. I mean, not all the comments, but some of you motherfuckers. I'm gonna just be real. I love my fans, but some of you motherfuckers that be talking all that stupid shit. Nigga, if I seen you in real life, I'd beat your ass. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be talking all that stupid shit, but I will beat your ass. And and, and that's that's the, the the beautiful thing about the net. You can sit behind your computer screen, your keyboard typing, you type <laughs> fat motherfucker. But if I seen you in real life, I'll fuck you up. Well, this has been the Mad Rapper Show. I'm the Mad Rapper. Have a good day. I'm the Mad Rapper. I speak the truth. I let it flow. If you got an opinion, comment below and let me know. If you like, please hit subscribe and tell all your friends about the Mad Rapper Show.